Hey guys, this is Josh from Fan Cafe. Today we are going to go over pressing on CV joints onto the new CV axle shafts that you can get in the full kit. A um, couple things to note here is that with the new axle shafts, the kit comes with this thrust washer. On the old stock Volkswagen axle shafts, you do not need to reuse this, or you do not need to use this rather. On the aftermarket kits and on synchro inners, you need to use this thrust washer. That washer goes on first onto the shaft, and then you can continue to press the CV joint on. Second thing to note is that if you go with the Rockford boots versus the boots that come in the CV kits, you need to use the larger of the two pinch clamps that come with the kit. The smaller ones, you can get them on, but it ends up kind of tearing the boot. It's not right. The right thing to do is to use the larger ones, and that's included. So now we'll go over to the press and you'll get a closer view on how to actually press these guys on. All right, so now when it's time to actually press the joint on, once again, don't forget to install the thrust washer on the axle shaft itself. I also like to use a little bit of oil along the threads here. Another thing to remember is these CV joints all have one flat surface and one surface has a small chamfer to it. Inside of the chamfer, always goes onto the axle shaft and it's going to sit against that thrust bolt. So here, we have the press set up. The trick I like to do is kind of slowly rotate the joint. You'll kind of feel it kind of almost key itself onto the axle shaft. Just twist the joint. You'll kind of feel it kind of start to index on there. It's not going to fall into it or anything, but it'll kind of, uh, kind of align itself on there. Press, correct press, tool adapter. And make sure everything is lined up straight and safe. it's about fully seated if your press has a gauge you'll see the needle start to kind of rise and you'll go around about five times pressure just always be kind of keeping an eye on where the joint is relative to where that thrust washer is and then once the joint is on you'll see that you have sufficient space put the C-clip around the outside and then you're done.